Do you know how to come out of a TV screen? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to walk out of a TV screen. Hello, my people. Welcome to Casa TV once again. And I remember your host, Kurkundu Burundi. Today, we are in the safari. And as you can see, I have a lot of beautiful animals. You can see the monkeys, the elephants, the lion, and a lot of other animals. Don't worry, we are family. They love me and I love them. Did you hear something? Aha! So as we are saying... Run. Welcome everyone to Creative Warehouse once again. I remain your host, Sammy Joe. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let's go straight into how we made that video. All it required to create that video was actually shooting on a green screen. Everything was done on a green screen. And we had to shoot outside because we wanted to simulate an external shot and an outdoor shot. So we didn't want to shoot inside to sort of not give way for any lapses. So we used two green screens, set up the first green screen at the background and then another one as the base of the TV where I had to put my hand and come out. And then I did my performance. As soon as it was time to come out, I carefully made sure that my legs were within the green screen whilst I came out. It's very, very important so that your leg doesn't go out. Okay? And then that's basically it. Before I started editing, I had to go online to search for a picture of the safaris. You know, something that looked like the wild. I mean, it was a very wild search because it was pretty difficult to get one. Something HD, high resolution. It really has to be high resolution so it doesn't pixelate on your screen. And eventually, I got one. So the next step was that I downloaded a stock footage of a lion in front of a green screen, just walking. And then in Premiere Pro, I put in my green screen, used Ultra Key to key out my backdrop, cleaned it up so there are no edges around, and then put my background there. But before I put my background, I had to interpolate the line on the green screen onto the backdrop so that it looks very natural. I also downloaded a stock footage of birds flying in front of a green screen and interpolated it into the picture so as to make it look a lot more realistic. The next thing is to put our videos on the TV and I've gone ahead to download a picture of a TV and a console. Very beautiful image. All I needed to do was just scale the picture and put it on the TV. And in the bit to make it more realistic, I needed to add a shadow to it. So I added the drop shadow effect and softened it a bit and that sold the effect. That's all. That's basically all about that video and how I came out of the TV. The rest is just drama. Really. Need I remind you that you have to like this video and smash the subscribe button? Of course I have to. I have to. Alright, please smash the subscribe button and the like button if you're liking this video already. Please, 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 we need it for the algorithm to help show it to other people. Thank you very much guys for sticking with us on today's episode. I hope you loved this video. And guys, if you really want to perfect your art, it's not just about learning, you have to practice because the perfection comes in the practicing. As a practicing, you're progressing, right? That's basically what creativity is about. And I urge you guys to be creative. Just think of creative ways, you know, to do this thing. Some of these things, I just think about them. I don't see them from anywhere. I just think about them and imagine how I can get to do them. Myself, that's what creativity is about. Think. Okay. Yeah, and that's why we are creative warehouse, guys. All right. Time to buzz out. Hmm? See you next time, guys. Peace.